you can clearly see that the spider is busy at work wrapping its uh, victim that is still alive uh, into a mummy cocoon casing. I uh, find this completely fascinating and barbaric at the same time, but nature will always have its way. And uh, this is just outside my window, just to see this uh, spider wrap its victim that is still alive. I can still see uh, the victim's feet uh, inside the cocoon, still struggling, I, I guess, as it uh, begins to suffocate. But I've never seen this up close and personal. And I think Mother Nature is completely fascinating. And uh, I really feel sorry for this victim that is being cocooned and wrapped up like a mummy uh, for this spider to have for uh, a future meal. Absolutely amazing. It's rather a, a big spider, an unusual spider. Uh, I know here we have daddy long legs. Uh, we don't have poisonous spiders here where I currently am. But to see this process, to see this spider and its spider web busy at work, wrapping its victim in this mummy cocoon casing with the victim struggling and its legs still moving is unbelievable. I've never seen this up close and uh, was just about to head out the door and looked out the, my window to see what the weather was and uh, to watch this fascinating process of the spider cocoon you know cocooning it's uh it's victim is uh unreal i've never really seen this uh up close and personal in my life but uh it's absolutely amazing and the thing about it too is that this poor victim is actually uh struggling as it's being cocooned and wrapped and uh in a in a fight for its uh its life really and uh, what a way to go to be uh smothered and suffocated in a in a wrapping from a, a spider and uh you know as i like egypt and i like mummies this certainly wouldn't be a way that i would like to meet my end uh and a lot of times i'm just guessing about this that uh the victims when the spider begins to consume it for a later dinner a lot of times is still alive it all depends on uh the wrapping of the web but actually to see this spider busy at work wrapping its victim is absolutely fascinating it's just gone down its web the victim is still alive struggling and there goes the spider going back up to the victim you can clearly see the victim's legs still moving wrapped in the cocoon so i don't know if the spider is just taking a little bit of a breather uh gathering its breath before it starts to cocoon or if it's just waiting for the victim to just suffocate but uh, clearly uh, this spider has been busy at work for quite some time uh, cocooning this victim because it's pretty wrapped up pretty like a neat little package so absolutely incredibly fascinating to see this spider just uh, giving it all its can to uh, preserve its future meal i'll have to actually do some research too to see uh, uh why it chooses to to do that but i'm assuming that the spider is probably obviously full and uh there's a reason why it just wants to preserve this particular victim it's gonna be it's a beautiful uh, spider too the big part of it sort of has yellow stripes on it so I'm not familiar with this type of a spider, but uh, I've never up close and personal seen a spider wrap up its uh, victim like a mummy. So just watching it outside the window. So that's why you'll probably notice a glare. But uh, uh, I am watching from my window looking. So I'm, I don't know how clear this would be, but you can still see the motion of the spider wrapping its uh, victim and the victim's uh, legs still struggling the i noticed by looking at the victim's legs uh the the motions or the frantic uh movement of the legs is getting weaker and weaker so i'm assuming that the victim is probably the air supply for this victim is just uh 
minimizing so it's not being able to breathe but i don't know what this victim is quite a quite big too so i don't know it's got uh, four sets of legs and it's got a so i don't know what's going on as this victim is slowly being uh, wrapped up in the co cocoon casing beautiful job by a spider i still find it fascinating how spiders can actually spin their webs and uh, climb climb up and down them and uh, you know the, it's breezy a little bit here but not very breezy so you can see the spider web kind of moving in in the, the little bit of the breeze but uh, spider webbing must be com very resilient uh, biological material to withstand wind rain and uh, to have victims I mean this is quite a big victim hanging from I can see clearly one vein of a web so it's got to be some super you know strong stuff just like spider-man spins his web and he's able to uh, uh, hang from it or you know hang from buildings so I guess I guess us human beings can really uh, learn from this biological material how mother nature really is a, a wonder and uh, the spider is sort of taking a breather uh, you know I don't know how long he's been the spider has been wrapping the victim uh, doing a really good job I mean it's just absolutely amazing I've never seen this up close and personal seeing a spider wrap up its uh, mummy casing and while the victim's still alive pretty gruesome death but uh, as we know in nature the strongest survive so this spider which is a very beautiful spider uh, it's got I'm assuming one two three six I think it's eight legs yeah four four on each four on each side Four on each side and the front part is kind of slim and it's got a big uh, button shape with yellow on it so um, I'm assuming that all this uh, cocoon webbing material is you know a lot of biological material that the spider has to manufacture uh, how that gets manufactured is another of uh, nature's mystery but I'm just spellbound and fascinated by this whole entire process. Watching a spider just wrap up its uh, victim is <laughs> unreal, unbeknownst to me. I mean, I was, like I said, clearly I was going to head out the door, but this has just got me fascinated because I've never seen this process, uh, you know, up close and personal and uh, without disrupting the rhythm of the spider we've got glass between us a glass window so the spider doesn't realize that I'm uh, videoing this awesome process but to me anything that mother nature does is uh, is amazing and us human beings can really uh, learn and have a lesson on uh, the engineering techniques behind uh, you know preparing a meal for future use so that's really it is what the spider is doing is uh, keeping I mean us human beings we have refrigerators we have freezers where we can preserve uh, excess food that we have for future um, use and uh, spiders this is maybe the spiders way of uh, uh, keeping a victim fresh and safe for when the spider has an appetite to start consuming and I think you know I'm not sure if spiders uh, actually suck the ju bodily juices out of their victims if they consume it by eating it that I, I like I said I don't really know anything about spiders and uh, you know I know they do build webs to catch victims like flies and any kind of uh, organism that gets trapped in the web but uh, I'm not sure how they actually consume their victims so that's uh, unbeknownst to me how a spider would actually consume the victim if they have some kind of a claw-like mechanism where they just suck the juices out like a straw. The spider now is resting again, so I mean, because they're this way.